Hi everyone, this is Chandan and welcome to Chandan Logics. In this video, we will be discussing some important concepts from topic averages. As you all know that from topic averages, you will be getting questions frequently in various competitive examinations. In this video, we will be covering, let us look at next example. 9 persons went to a hotel for taking their meals. 8 of them spent rupees 12 each on their meals and the 9th person spent 8 rupees more than the average expenditure of all the 9. Total money spent by them was. Now they are asking us what is the total expenditure of those 9 persons. Now these are like important questions which comes in some examinations frequently. So what happened is like total 9 persons went for a, a dinner but what happened is like out of that it was said that 8 persons, 8 persons has spent 12 rupees each and the 9th person is spending 8 rupees more than the average expenditure of all these 9 persons. So we know that average is nothing but sum of numbers divided by number of numbers. Now in this it will be sum of amount spent by number of persons. But if you look here, the number of persons are like 9 persons. Out of those 9 persons, 8 persons spend 12 rupees each. So 12 rupees plus 12 rupees plus 12 rupees so on till the ninth person but we know that the ninth person the ninth person is going to spend how much ninth person is going to spend eight rupees more than the average now actually what is the average of all these nine person we does not know let us assume the average of all these nine persons as x if i assume the average of all these nine person is x the ninth person should spend x plus 8 rupees why because the question is saying that the ninth person is going to spend 8 rupees more than the average of all these nine persons so all the persons are having 12 rupees 12 rupees 12 rupees each but the ninth person should spend 8 rupees more than the actual average if we assume the actual average is x the ninth person should spend x plus 8 rupees now if you look here if i solve this equation then automatically it will come to know what is the value of x once i know the value of x then solving this question will be simple but we don't have time in examination so if you look if we go with the concept of equal distribution then solving this question will be like really simple now when you say that this nine persons average is x the meaning is like each and every number should be x x x x x but if you look here now the ninth person is having more than x how much more than x he is having eight rupees more than x which means what happened here is like this ninth person has given this eight rupees for the remaining persons why because the average is x the average is x but the ninth person is having more than the average more than the average how much more he is having eight rupees more as he has having eight rupees more this eight rupees has to be distributed for all of them equally so that all will become x x x x x now this eight rupees will distribute for all the persons i have total eight persons why because if i remove this ninth person the remaining are like eight persons now this eight persons if I distribute this 8, each of them will have 1 rupee, 1 rupee, 1 rupee, 1 rupee. So each of them will get 1 rupee, 1 rupee, 1 rupee. So on. Now we can say that now each of them will have 13, 13, 13, 13. So we can say that average, average is going to be 13. If average is 13, I can say that what is the total expenditure? Total expenditure spent by all these 9 persons. Total expenditure spent by all these persons will be 13 into 9. That will be 90 plus 27. That is nothing but 117 rupees. Okay. So simple thing. What we came to know is like each of the persons, 8 persons spent 12 rupees, 12 rupees, 12 rupees. But what happened is like ninth person has spent 8 rupees more than the actual expenditure. That is like actual average expenditure. The average expenditure for all the nine persons, we are assuming it as x. If I assume it as x, the ninth person should spend x plus 8 rupees. Which means when I say average is x, each and every person should have x, x, x. But unfortunately, what happens is this ninth person is having 8 more than x. 8 more than x means this 8 has to be distributed for all the persons. All the persons means all the remaining persons. How many persons are remaining? We are left with 8 persons. Now this 8 rupees, if we distribute for all the 8 persons, each person will get 1 rupee, 1 rupee, 1 rupee. Each person will get 1 rupee, 1 rupee, 1 rupee. Which means they spend 12, 12, 12. This ninth person has given 1, 1, 1 extra. So 12 plus 1, total it is nothing but 13. Which means average of all these numbers is 13, 13, 13, 13. If average is 13, we are asked to find what is the total expenditure. Total expenditure will be 13 9 times that will be 90 plus 27 that is nothing but 117 rupees sometimes the question can be in this way as well sometimes the question will ask us to find what is the total amount spent by the ninth person if they ask us to find the total amount spent by the ninth person ninth person has spent x plus 18 rupees and we just came to know that x is nothing but average average we came to know that average is nothing but 13 so ninth person is going to spend 13 plus 8 that is nothing but 21 rupees so amount spent by the ninth person will be 21 
one rupees. Either the questions here will be amount spent by the nine person or the questions will be like what is the total expenditure? Okay, fine. Now the same question if necessary you can do in this way as well. If you are going to do it directly, it will be in this way. 8 persons has spent 12 rupees 12 rupees each now if you look here what happened the ninth person has spent 8 more now this 8 more has been distributed for all the remaining persons now this 8 more has been distributed for all the remaining persons all the remaining persons are like 8 now 8 goes in 8 one time so we can say that average is like 13 now you need to just multiply this with 9 persons so 13 into 9 I can say that the value is something but 117 rupees okay let us look at one more example so that we'll be getting a better idea on this So next question it was saying in this way, 9 persons went to a hotel for a dinner, 8 of them spent 37 rupees each on their dinner, while the 9th person spent 24 rupees more than the average expenditure of all the 9, find the total expenditure. So simple, similar question whatever we have done earlier. It was said that 8 persons spent 37 rupees each. Now it was saying that we are asked to find the, uh, what is the total expenditure. Now if you look here how much the 9th person has spent 24 rupees more. Now this 24 has been distributed for all the remaining persons. So this 24 has been distributed for all the remaining persons. Remaining persons means remaining three, remaining 8 persons. If I distribute this for all the remaining 8 persons, 8 goes in 24 how many times? 3 times. 37 into 3 that is nothing but average is nothing but 40. If average is 40, they are asking us to find what is the total expenditure. Total expenditure for 9 persons. So 40 into 9 that is nothing but 360 rupees. Okay. Simple thing. Let us example if they ask us to find what is the amount spent by the 9th person. Amount spent by the 9th person. Amount spent by the 9th person is going to be 40 plus. Why? Because average is 40. So 40, he is spending 24 more as well. 40 plus 24, we can say that the amount spent will be like 64 rupees. Okay. Simple thing. Let us look at one more example. So one more example it was saying in this way. It was saying like 10 persons went to hotel for a lunch. 9 of them spent 30 rupees each. While the 10th person spent rupees 630 more than the average temperature. Find the amount spent by the 10th person. Now it is like not about the total expenditure. It is like amount spent by the 10th person. Okay. Fine. Now in this it is saying that 10 persons went. Out of that what happened is like 1 person has spent. That is like 9th person has spent 630 rupees more. Now all the 9 person has spent 30 30 30 30 but what happened the 10th person has spent 630 rupees more now the 630 rupees has to be distributed for all the 9 persons if the 630 has distributed for all the 9 person 9 how many times 9 70 times this will be 63 so 30 plus 70 that is nothing but 100 rupees which means average is nothing but 100 if average is 100 if they ask us to find the total expenditure 100 into 100 total expenditure will be 1000 rupees but the question is not about total expenditure the question is asking us to say what is the total amount spent by the 10th person total amount spent by the 10th person is nothing but that 10th person has spent 630 rupees more than the average we came to know that average is like 100 so 100 plus he spent 630 more so that will be 100 plus 630 the amount spent by the 10th person is nothing but 730 rupees so if the same question if they ask us to find the total expenditure you can say average expenditure is like 100 for 10 persons so if they ask us to find what is the total expenditure 100 into 10 you can say that the amount is going to be 1000 rupees but the question is not about what is the total expenditure the question is about the amount spent by the 10th person so amount spent by the 10th person so 10th person amount spent is nothing but 10th person has spent 630 rupees more than the average as average is 100 100 plus 630 the amount spent will be like 730 so this is how you can solve questions related to hotel expenses in a simple manner the simple thing is like you need to know how much more you got the more you got what you need to do is like you need to distribute for all the remaining persons once you distribute for all the remaining persons then you'll be coming across what is the actual average once you know the actual average if you need to know the total expenditure multiply with the number of persons you have if you need to know what is the amount spent by the last person then simple thing what you need is like you need to add that actual average to the amount whatever he is spending more so that you'll coming across that okay Hope you guys have enjoyed this session. If you think that this session is helpful for you and if you need more of such interesting and smart logics then please subscribe to our channel and try to share this video with as many friends as possible so that it will be a real boost up for me in the next upcoming videos. Thank you. Have a nice day. Meet in the next session. Bye bye.